And let me tell you something, J-Lo, I'm not scared of you. Of all the things that are going to take my media career out, it's not going to be Jennifer Lopez, okay? <laughs> and the fact that you can't sell concert tickets right now because everybody's over it. So I'm going to tell you one more thing, TikTok. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and smash the like button for me. Thank you for the support. So you guys, Megan McCain is weighing in on Jennifer Lopez. Megan shared her own story about a time J-Lo came to The View. I too share similar negative stories that the entire world does. She is just a deeply unpleasant person. Megan then went on to offer her take on Jennifer Lopez on the show, noting she had the biggest entourage I've ever seen. More than Kim Kardashian and the president. What? I just don't really understand why it was needed. She also said that J-Lo is not nice. She went on to explain, you don't always have to be so nice, but it was surprising that people like Kim Kardashian couldn't be more delightful. When you're coming on a show for a 10-minute segment, just fake it till you make it for 10 effing minutes. Wow, and according to Megan, Jennifer Lopez went after her podcast for talking negatively about her back in April. She claimed J-Lo had her video taken down and her co-host said, we are beefing with her right now. Oh my gosh, the clip that did it, I think is the clip where Megan said, my biggest memory of J-Lo is there was a person whose entire job, it was to hold up a mirror with lights while they were touching her up backstage. What? Wait, so let me get this way. There was a person whose entire job was to hold up a mirror backstage while they were touching her makeup and things like that. <laughs> she is so insufferable. Let me tell you, there is a clip where Jayla was chewing gum and I guess she wanted to get rid of it. Instead of asking for a tissue, she literally spat into the hands of her assistant. Jennifer Lopez spits out her gum into the hand of her assistant. If that is what she does in front of the public, what does she do in private as far as mistreating her employees? She is so classless. She has no class. And there's been a lot of reports about how she treat people, staff, uh, restaurant staff members. When she walk in a room, people cannot look her in the eyes. They have to look away. Like, who do you think you are? You're not special. You can't even sing. You slap your way to the top. You got with Diddy so he could produce your album for free. He's the reason why you became a singer. Well, he opened that singing door for you because nobody was going to take you seriously. Who the hell was going to take Jello seriously? Not with the, if you had my love and I gave you they can't hurt me. Like, get out of here, J-Lo. I mean, you slept with Diddy. Nasty, disgusting Diddy. So you could start your freaking singing career. Please. She used her big butt to attract Diddy and get him to start her music career. Because you know black men, that's all they care about is big butts, right? You know, so she used that to get in the black community. Everyone knows the black music industry is easy to get into, right? It's easy to get in because you don't need talent. They don't care about talents, right? So she, she did what she did. She used her big butt to get in the black community, the black music industry. You know, she slept with Diddy, of all people, nasty Diddy, right? She got her album and she said peace out. Now, where's her big butt? Now, of course, she knows that big butt only attract low quality men. She know what kind of men that big butt attracts. Yo, she didn't want none of that. She got that big butt reduced. Okay, she know white men don't care about big butts because their women are not as shapely. Right? So white men don't care about butts because their women are not as shapely. So they just used to, used to, you know, what they used to, right? Wait, wait, wait. Let me add this. White women are getting their butts done like no other. I'm telling you. like, But the thing is, their butts, they don't go too big. So they keep it nice and small so it looks more realistic. Unlike the other women who, you know, they go overboard, right? So white women, when they get their butt done, they get it small. And then they work out, right? So it looks toned. So it looks real. It, it, it matches their body. That's the secret that no one is talking about. The past seven years, I'll say, oh, yeah, 
They got their butts done more than others. But they keep it cute. They have it small, you know, a nice size. So it matches the body. It doesn't look fake. It looks realistic. And they work out on top of it. So therefore, it's going to look realistic. It's going to look toned. It's going to look pow, right? <laughs> so yeah, unlike black women, they go overboard and they just, yeah, they go big. It's like go big or go home. Like, no, ew, you know? Like the Kardashians, like Kim, got Chloe in them. You see, they're getting their butt reduced because they know it looks ridiculous. It doesn't look realistic. And then they, they, it doesn't even match their thighs. They look crazy. And the kind of men they were attracting, uh-huh. So you see, they don't want to attract these men anymore. So guess what? So they want a small butt because they know what kind of men that will bring. But because, oh, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> Back to J-Lo. See, J-Lo's butt is real, okay? Unlike those other women. Mm -mm. J-Lo butt is real, but she still had it reduced because she wasn't trying to attract, you know, the wrong <laughs> type of man. But um, yeah, yeah J-Lo is a nasty piece of work. She's not a nice person, but we've heard this forever. I don't know why now all this is coming out and people are like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, they've been saying this about J-Lo. But check out these clips. I'm going to play these clips of Megan McCain. All right, check this out. Yeah. Kate, you agree with that, right? Oh, I don't need to agree. These are just facts. Yes. Yeah. So how do we fix it? Because J-Lo okay. is in her flop era. You want to go first? I made a list. You made notes. I made, notes. <laughs> I made okay. a list of how can we fix it. Uh, first of all, she needs to stop going after influencers. Um Yeah. This this uh, Roth woman, I, I apologize. I don't know her name because I don't. I didn't follow her. I didn't know who she was until the news of her death spread. However, she did go after an influencer that I did that I do like is this guy Petty Pop Culture, and um, I've sent you some of his videos in the past. Yeah, yeah. He has these great, really fun videos of celebrity conspiracy theories, and um, he'd had this one up of Jennifer Lopez um, allegedly stating that she doesn't sing the vocals for her own songs that she has like a ghost singer basically and yeah um, shanti or something right i don't even know i don't remember who he said was like singing for her but he'd had a couple of videos up of her and, and it's all in good fun like this, that's just what his brand is is he tells all these crazy conspiracy theories about different celebrities and one of them was jennifer lopez doesn't sing and so over the holidays she sent him this like really scary cease and desist letter. If you don't this, then we're going to do that. And you'll have to pay me this much money and we're going to delete your accounts. And apparently he was like going through this horrible breakup, didn't check the mail or didn't see the email. And it was like, if you don't reply within 72 hours and he didn't look at it for a whole week. So, you know, she, she's doing this. This is something that she's, she's probably going to come after us now. This is something that she's doing where she's going after these influencers. Like, they can be your best friend. They can be your worst enemy. Stop mm -hmm. going after these small potatoes influencers who are just getting your name out there. The engagement and the brand awareness is all you really need. If they're saying you don't sing, people are going to go to your Spotify, Amazon Music, whatever page and listen to your vocals. They're going to listen to you. They're going to stream your music and listen to it because they want to hear it. And, or they're going to go to your YouTubes and watch your shows. So... Uh, all press is press, right? Mm -hmm. Good, bad, neutral, whatever. Stop going after influencers. Um, my next item is don't be an asshole. Yeah, if you're gonna be an that's asshole, a good one. Lean into it. Stop pretending like you're not an asshole. Look, I have a bad JLo story too. I mean, she came on The View many times as a guest. Not my favorite. But not don't pretend. Favorite. If you're going to be an asshole, be an asshole. I can respect that. I can be down she, with that has a let me tell you something some of the biggest celebrities i've ever met in my entire life i mean giant celebrities have tiny maybe one publicist with them jennifer mm -hmm. lopez has more people traveling with her than the president or as many i'm not kidding I, like and i do remember i'm gonna get so much trouble for this but my big memory of j-lo is um there was a person whose entire job was to hold up a mirror with lights while they were touching her up backstage a per just so a mirror with lights so she could see into it. And I remember being like, that poor man, 
what a weird job. You know, he probably went to art school or something, had dreams of being a musician. He's like, I hold J-Lo's light lit, like whatever. And I want to say, uh, I really like J-Lo's sister. I met her sister a few times. She's a very smart journalist. So I don't want to get, like, I don't want to be too hard on J-Lo. But, I mean, just from my experience with J-Lo, yeah, some of this shit's true. Most viewed TikTok we have is me admitting that uh, J-Lo coming on The View was not my favorite by a lot. Just, I said it's not my favorite. I, too, share similar negative stories that apparently the entire world does, too. What happened? Did you show me this, Megan? She, I will tell you more offline. I actually feel bad right now because I feel like there is actually, we're turning a point where there's, like, bullying happening to J-Lo, and I don't want to add right. to that. She just is a deeply unpleasant person and had a huge, I said this on the fork, she had the biggest entourage I've ever seen, like, of a celebrity, more than Kim Kardashian and more than the president. Like, I've never seen, like, and I just don't really understand what, why it was needed. And there's a lot of people, like, real people, like, Lower level PAs, people on shows, service workers, waitresses who have really negative stories about her. And again, I just know my experience and I was a host at The View. It was not nice. She was not nice. Okay. And I'm like, whatever. You don't always have to be so nice, but it was just surprising given that people like Kim Kardashian couldn't be more delightful. Um, And also when you're coming on a show for like a 10 minute segment, like as myself, as someone who's been invited on shows for 10 minute segments, just fake it till you make it for 10 minutes date about of all things um our previous commentary about jennifer lopez so <laughs> we did a segment for people that want memory um about uh jennifer lopez being in her flop era and we were just giving some helpful advice on how she could fix it uh uk had some tips i had some tips i actually thought all things considered for what i could have said about j-lo and I had some things I could still say. Mm. I held back. I said she just wasn't my favorite guest when I was at ABC News. She just, I've interviewed her multiple times. Just wasn't my favorite guest. I still stand by that. I've got more things I could have said, but I did not. Yeah. But Miranda, apparently in the United States of America, if you just say that and want to give her advice and talk about how JLo's in your flop era, do you want to know what will happen? You will get flagged and taken down off of TikTok. The we video don't. we made about Jennifer Lopez was removed from TikTok. This is real. Okay. I told you it would happen. I said she'd Miranda's, come after us. So part of your advice was that stop going after TikTok and influencers. That was your advice to Jennifer Lopez. Because we're not point. the first. Since I'm now officially a TikToker, she was not, <laughs> we're not the first people she's gone after. She's removing people all the time. But this is the other thing I, I just want to say really quickly to Jennifer Lopez and her team monitoring social media. I have beef with President Trump, President Biden, Hunter Biden, Julian Assange, uh, Vladimir Putin. I mean, Vladimir Putin, <laughs> Carrie Lake. I mean, take a number, get in line. I have beefed with someone for some reason. I mean, beefing with people publicly is like my hobby and powerful people. And yeah. I have been banned from places, banned from traveling to places, banned from countries. I am not allowed in certain places in media. There's like buildings I'm not welcome in. Like, that, like I've got to like... There, you're, I'm lucky I can't even go outside sometimes. I think I'm lucky bed that bugs are here. more welcome places yes. than you. <laughs> but like I have make a living and my work is saying controversial things and taking third rails and not just touching them, but grabbing hold of them and strangling them forever. And I've been doing that since I was like 22 years old and I'm 39. And let me tell you something, JLo, I'm not scared of you. Of all the things that are going to take my media career out, it's not going to be Jennifer Lopez okay <laughs> and the fact that you can't sell concert tickets right now because everybody's over it so I'm gonna tell you one more thing TikTok I like you I like TikTok right now like I said I take back what I said about the CCP keep TikTok alive let China spy on us whatever we've got bigger problems in the country right now I like TikTok don't deplatform us because we don't like Jennifer Lopez it's not right it's not fair I think mm -hmm. TikTok is a free speech place I think but I can't, I actually cannot believe that we, that the first thing I have ever had banned of any content I've ever said, I'm talking to you like, I've talked about Julian Assange spying, yeah. like a very controversial type of subjects. I got in a fight with Pamela Anderson about it on television. Like, I, I can't even tell you the things I talk about all the time. I have to go sometimes in spaces to talk about things that there are, it's a no cell zone that like, I can't bring a cell with phone in and there's armed also security. Things, yes. Like, I, I, I know controversial people. I am friends with controversial people. I'm friends with powerful people who are controversial. J-Lo is the thing.
that got me deplatformed. I texted our producer, wonderful producer Ashley, and I was like, is J-Lo suing me? Because J-Lo, if you want to sue me, my husband has actually been sued about free speech things. And let me tell you, he went to the Supreme Court and won. I've got some great free speech lawyers. Mm -hmm. I think my free speech lawyers may be better than your entertainment lawyers when it comes to this specific subject. I don't want to be sued, but in the United States of America, I'm allowed to say that J-Lo is not my favorite guest and it's legal. And as it's a conservative. Right 